The Mitsubishi Outlander received a bit of a makeover this year, with the most noticeable feature being new front-end styling. A new GT model benefits from a four-wheel drive system that's based on the automaker's rally-winning vehicles competing around the world. Dubbed Super All-Wheel Control, the full-time setup uses a console-mounted knob to adjust for maximum performance on pavement in slippery conditions or off pavement. Simply put, the Outlander GT feels at home and ready for fun on whatever surface you're traveling. Other Outlander models offer choices of four or six cylinder engines and front or all wheel drive. Four cylinder versions use a continuously variable transmission, while V6s use a six speed automatic with a sequential manual mode. The GT uses Mitsubishi's 3.0-liter V6 developing 230 horsepower and 215 pound-feet of torque, and it provides lively performance to go along with the very sporty handling responses. Regular viewers know that we recently completed a long-term test of an earlier version of the Outlander, and were quite pleased with that vehicle after living with it day to day for a year. Now we're beginning a year-long evaluation of the new GT model, and already we have to say that as much as we like the earlier model, the GT is impressing us even more with the control benefits of its new all-wheel drive system. Our fuel mileage is currently running at about the same 21 miles per gallon we saw with our previous Outlander. Ride comfort is quite good over a variety of surfaces, especially given the sporting responses offered by the suspension. Though the Outlander isn't designed for serious off-pavement pounding, it does have decent ground clearance and short enough overhangs that it can easily traverse fairly rough terrain. First and second row seating accommodations are spacious and comfortable for a relatively compact vehicle. Our Outlander also has a third row seat that only your smallest, most limber passengers will want to try. With that seat folded down, a generously sized cargo area is ready to swallow a substantial load, with easy access through a two-piece liftgate tailgate. Leather seats, a trip computer, high intensity discharge headlights, a 700 watt stereo, and other goodies are on duty in our long-term Mitsubishi, although it lacks the navigation system we were able to try out in another GT. Outlander base pricing starts at a bit over $21,000, and a GT model like ours runs right around $30,000. We're looking forward to a great year with our Mitsubishi, and we'll keep you updated on how it's doing and where it's taken us as we put it through its paces. So stick with us and we'll have another report for you soon.